Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a unicorn. And you're not going to believe this, but it's actually a launcher that you might choose to install yourself. Amazing, but this actually exists. It's something called the Blender Launcher, and if you're a Blender user, you will appreciate this one. Especially if you run multiple different versions, especially like I do. I check out the alphas, the betas, the stable versions, possibly older versions. And if you want to have something for installing and launching all of those things, that is exactly what Blender Launcher is for. It is open source, it is free, available for Windows and Linux, uh, available here. As I mentioned earlier on, it is also an open source project uh, under the GPL v3 license. In terms of what you would use, use this for um, automatic checking of the latest builds, fast access to uh, favorites tray via the context menu or middle click on the tray icon, register blend file extensions for the preferred blend version you're working with, startup arguments for launching Blender, template installation and installation of running builds and its number of instances. So this is a straightforward version. Just basically download it for your platform of choice. It is a zip file. Extract out that zip file and run it. So in my case, that is in my downloads folder. I've already done so. So Blender Launcher is available right here, 64-bit version. Uh, it is just an EXE. So you can put it anywhere you want on your system and then just go ahead and run it. Now, what you're going to see is I've already actually come in and installed a couple of versions of Blender. So I installed the alpha, the beta, and the stable releases all side by side on my machine, and I can use this to launch them. So for example, boom, this is going to fire up Blender 3.3.x, whatever version I just asked for. So see you there, there is our version right Running. Go on back over here uh, to the Blender launcher, and you're going to see I could also go ahead. Now it shows how many instances of that we have running. So that is how you go ahead and launch a version of Blender. You will also find, if I get uh, my browser out of full screen mode, it is down here in the tray, optionally. So I have a favorited version of Blender that I can go ahead and I can just run it this way. This is uh, 3.6 alpha, and boom, it goes ahead and runs it that way. Or if I want to go to my favorites, I basically do the same thing. Click favorites, it will bring up the Blender under launcher and any version I have marked as a favorite will show up in the favorites list. So I could then launch it this way. You will also see over here a list of uh, the number of instances that are running. So if I go here to my library, I currently have a 3.6 version and a 3.3 version uh, installed and running right now. I go ahead and I shut down one of those versions, such as the 3.3, and it immediately goes away. So if you are running multiple versions of Blender at the same time, definitely a handy little tool. Now, how do I go about adding a new version of of Blender. Well, I go over here to the Downloads tab. It will automatically check uh, when you launch it. I believe there are ways to tell it to go ahead and check again. Uh, and you can see here all of the stable releases. So this is the daily releases. Sorry, the stable releases are available right here. So if I want to go all the way back in time to say 2.79 stable, I can grab it right here, or I can go all the way up to uh, 3.34. Now this is actually done by uh, upload time, but we can also sort it by the version. So this is the stable releases. This is the daily releases, basically the current special mark stuff. So uh, 3.41 stable is available here. I downloaded all of the other stuff already. They were in this list. So as you download them, they come out of the list. And another very cool feature here is if you are working with um, special builds of it. So these are versions that have, so this one is the USD build. This one has special cycles, path guiding, rendering going on and so on. I do wish that the pull request, I wish there was integration in here that actually said or a link to what the pull request was. So you're going to have to know specifically which pull request you're actually looking for. But these are the very developmental versions. If you want to go ahead and download them, you can also download the special forked builds like that through here as well. So let's say I wanted to grab this USD version. I just come in here, click the download. It goes to the appropriate servers and downloads that file for me. And then ultimately when that is done, it will show in my library in the experiment category. So here we're back to, uh, I don't have any stable. So all I have is everything here in the dailies. By the way, if I want to add something to my favorites, I can add it to a favorites here. Uh, if I want to add it to the quick launch, I can add it over here. You can also say register extension. That will then be the version. If you double click a blend file in your file explorer or windows explorer, or wherever you're using, uh, this will um, make it so that whatever version you selected is what's associated with Blender. Make it quick and easy right there. You can also go ahead, let's say I do not like this particular release right here. I can also manage and delete it from the folder here as well. So this is like a one-stop shop for managing all of your Blender installs. It's a very cool tool. Uh, there are a number of different settings you want to be aware of. Uh, when you first launch it, it's going to ask you where should we put all of your blenders. So this is my Blender install folder. So if we head on over to that, you're going to see this is the location that 
all of the blenders get installed to. So all of the daily builds are down here. They're all kind of organized into that file system. So obviously a very important setting there. You can also have this guy automatically launch when your system starts up. So you have this tray icon available to you at all time. You can have it hide the tray icon. You can have it when you minimize it down, it will go down into the tray and not show up on screen. You have it checked for builds automatically. It does support high DPI. So this is a 4K display you're seeing it on. So obviously it looks fine. Uh, you have some controls over how the defaults would look. Uh, and notifications on when there are new builds, etc., available and downloaded. Uh, you can pick uh, how to behave and so on. And then you also have connection setups, which fortunately you should not need to touch. So those are the basic controls of it. My experimental version should be yeah, still downloading right here. By the way, you can do multiple at the same time, and it handles that concurrently for you as well. Uh, it's just a really handy little tool if you ever find yourself working with multiple versions of Blender at the same time. A Blender launcher, like I said to start the video, this is a, a unicorn, a launcher that you might actually choose to install. You know, I, I know we've got things like the Ubisoft and EA launchers out there that we all hate with a passion. Not very many people like the... Um, you know, Adobe one that was forced down our throat for Creative Cloud. But this one, hey, it's if you're using Blender on a daily basis, this is some very, very useful stuff, especially if you're installing, switching between builds and so on. This just kind of handles it all for you and just makes your life a an easier and happier place. And in the end of the day, isn't that what we want from our software? So anyways, that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Blender launcher. All of the relevant links will be linked down below. Uh, for Windows and Mac. Sadly, it does not appear that there is a Linux version out there, uh, but there is full instructions here on how to make everything work, but it's a very straightforward program, so you shouldn't need the help at all. Uh, what do you think? Let me know. Uh, again, open source project as well, so if you want to contribute to it, it is up on GitHub. So that is the Blender launcher, an actual launcher that isn't crap. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.